Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Let's get you set first with what's happening with the latest with Tropical Storm Hermine. Still a tropical storm has been downgraded as it moved on shore late last night in the panhandle of Florida, but you can see the impacts here. Tornado watch boxes out for most of the North Carolina shore and also heavy rain potential from South Carolina all the way across portions of uh, the mid-Atlantic region. That includes uh, Virginia and even in towards uh, Delaware as well as this will eventually work uh, northward over the next couple of days. 50 mile an hour wind, 65 mile an hour wind gusts. Pressure has been rising just a bit, still moving at 18 miles an hour to the northeast. So a very quick moving storm over the next 24 hours. It will likely get back out into the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see, as we go towards Saturday, Sunday and into Monday, some restrengthening as well. Even though the storm will sit offshore, it is likely going to create some very strong rip current, possible beach and coastal erosion all across from New York down in through much of Virginia. So this is going to be a major player. It gets blocked by an area of high pressure to the north, and that'll keep this storm sitting and spinning just off the coastline there for likely in through some of next week as well. How much rain could they see? Well, upwards of around four to eight inches, possibility of some life-threatening flooding, especially in through the Carolinas as it moves back out. And then you see a huge bullseye of 12 plus inches offshore. That's the good news, but still some of the areas around the coast there, Atlantic City, New Jersey coastline could be looking uh, at some major impacts, especially in towards Labor Day, Sunday and Monday. Meanwhile, for us, pretty quiet afternoon for us here. We've got a few light scattered showers out there starting to pop from, oh, let's say Montgomery County over to Grimes County southward. Most of these will be done over the next couple of hours. Could see an isolated shower for your uh, Friday night football forecast. It'll be warm. Temperatures well staying in the mid to low 80s. Mild, humid night out there, uh, including our game of the week. St. Thomas at Strake Jesuit should be a, a good night for high school football. Now let's take a peek as we go in towards your weekend. Saturday stays mostly dry with that northeasterly wind continuing to keep any shower activity well to the south. Could see a few flare ups there down around, let's say, Jackson, Brazoria County into Matagorda County, but the majority of the region will be a dry hot Saturday forecast Sunday winds start to switch and that'll bring in the moisture back off of the Gulf and start to get sea breeze a little more active right now looks like we could be looking at some scattered showers through the afternoon best chances for that Sunday afternoon will be south of I-10 and then as we go in towards Monday same story we'll put the coverage a little more widespread to about 30% so tomorrow if you headed down to NRG the Cougars kicking off their season with a huge game against Oklahoma Sooners. It'll likely be a warm tailgate around 82 by 10 a.m. Back up into the mid 80s by 11 heading in and 92 as you get done with the game. So let's check out the rest of your weekend forecast. 20% on Sundays we mentioned we'll bump it up to 30 on Monday, but not everyone will see any rain showers out there. So certainly don't go canceling any of your plans, barbecues and whatnot. You may just need to run indoors real quickly. Otherwise, as we get in towards the work week next week, we'll dry back out, see about a 20% chance for showers by Thursday and Friday. Otherwise, we're going to keep the temperatures in the mid 90s and looking good right now for next weekend for the kickoff of the NFL season for the Houston Texans home opener there on next Sunday. That's your forecast I'm right here at clickthehouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of your holiday weekend plans and you can get the latest on tracking Tropical Storm Hermine up and down the East Coast right here at clickthehouston.com as well. Just head on over to the hurricane page.